Welcome to the SRO training video series for the FEI SEM. In this video we will demonstrate how to reduce charging effects in your images using the integrate filter mode. Here we are looking at pollen grains that have not had any special sample preparation done using the recommended settings for non-conductive samples. In a good SEM image, we want to see lots of shades of gray, but as we increase the magnification, you will notice some regions become white and others black. You may also notice horizontal streaking in the image. These are signs of sample charging. An easy way to reduce charging effects is to reduce the accelerating voltage. Here we see the difference between 5 kV and 2 kV. Reducing the current may also help. After lowering the voltage, the image looks fine in live view, but charging effects become noticeable when we acquire a photo. First we're going to set the resolution to 1024 by 884. This will determine the resolution of the final image. Note that the horizontal streaking becomes more apparent. It's okay for now. Next we lower the dwell time until the charging effects are no longer visible. The image may appear very fuzzy, but that's okay. Next, select the Integrate Scan Filter. Using the default two frames doesn't show much improvement from the live view, but the image will become clearer as we increase the number of frames. Here we use 16 frames. The collection takes longer, but the image is clearer. After the scan is completed, be sure to save the image by clicking File Save. To collect another image, click the Pause button. Here is the original photo we collected on the left compared to the 16 frames integrated image on the right. In the integrated image we no longer see the dark region between the spikes and there is less streaking. If you are working in immersion mode, changing the detector mode to charge reduction may improve your results. If these steps do not fix your issues, you will need to coat your sample using the imaging sputter coater. Note that very rough or irregularly shaped samples may need multiple coatings. Rotating the sample between coatings can help ensure complete coverage. Keep in mind every sample is different and a combination of these techniques may be needed to get a good image.